Welcome to the annual recap of Care Collab 2021. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate your time and your interest. And well, if you are not a participating Care Collab channel throughout the past year and you're still going to watch, then I appreciate that even more so. I will be putting the names up of every single Care Collab channel that participated this year. It's absolutely dismal outside it is pouring with rain but if i were to switch that light on it would look like this which is not as agreeable in my opinion so we'll just switch that off and let's do some math i am terrible at math but let's just do some math here let's start with three plus 365 plus 61 which equals 429 but I'm terrible at math. So uh, let's do this again. Hang on a second. Three plus 365 plus 61 equals 445. Yeah, I like that. That's better. That's much better. Yeah, that works for me. Like I said, I'm terrible in math, but this equation, this works for me because on the 27th of December, 2020, three channels got together, Tropical Plants Finland, Honeybees and Orchids, and myself, and we posted our first ever care collab on Brassocatlia gyrat kiku. That was 365 days ago. Now, on the 27th of December, 2021, we have 61 channels in the database. And in my care collab videos playlist, I have 445 videos. That includes every single video that has ever aired on a Care Collab, including my own. And that is why the math is correct. 445 videos, 61 channels. That is incredible. And let me give you a little bit of history if you've never heard of this before. If you are new and you're seeing this video any time in the future, and you're wondering what is it all about, maybe you've seen the hashtag around the tubes, at least I hope you have, that would be great. That was the purpose of this whole Care Collab initiative. This all started with Tropical Plants Finland telling me that she has a gyra kiku, and then I asked her, well, would you like to do a care video together with me? Then honeybees and orchids saw our comments and said, I have one as well, and the rest is history. The one little nugget of history that I would like to bring forward though is that the hashtag CareCollab came as a suggestion from honeybees and orchids who said, well, we need a hashtag, how about CareCollab? So that is how the CareCollabs came about. I was not intending to make CareCollabs public. It was a little project of mine back in 2020. And I was really, really excited that Tropical Plants Finland jumped on board so quickly as did honeybees and orchids. And I thought, well, bit by bit, I am going to be able to ask other channels, maybe they would be interested if they grow the same orchid that I have and just do a joint care video, depending on our climate, environment, our setup, controlled, not controlled, greenhouse mounted, potted, bare root, water culture, anything at all, but always considering the same orchid for a specific care collab video. Then. A wonderful friend of mine, Paige, decided to ask me a question and asked me about my goals of 2021. And I thought, well, that was one of the biggest goals in my head was to reach out to other channels for Care Collabs, but I was never going to make it public. And I thought, well, you know what? To answer the question and do that justice, I then decided to tell everybody what I was planning and looking forward to doing and what I would be prepared to organize. And Care Collabs became a thing. Having had many, many people respond in the early days, I found myself typing a lot of the same thing over and over again. Felt like a scribe in the dungeons of some kind of medieval library <laughs> burning the candle. I decided to compile some PDFs. So if you, for example, have never heard of Care Collabs, and if you do make videos about orchids that you are interested in sharing and you want to join in on Care Collabs, 
There are some PDFs that will be sent to you and it may all look rather official, but it is not. It is just the way things have evolved since I was typing the same thing over and over again. And there's one PDF that is quite important in my opinion that is called my MO, my modus operandi as to how I go about coordinating care collabs so that everybody that joins in knows exactly how their private information is being handled. And there's only one way it's being handled. I do not share emails. And then also that they will not be inundated with emails. They won't be spammed. And prolonged periods of silence doesn't mean I have dropped off the face of the earth or have forgotten the care collab. It just means I'm either waiting for responses or I'm waiting to gauge which channel's orchid is actually in bloom so that we can have one channel, if not more channels that are participating where we can all admire and see some blooms. So that is the modus operandi PDF. The other PDF I compiled was because I did get some questions saying, I don't know what to say. I feel a bit nervous about this. What should I say, etc. And then I, you know, little helpful points, little bullet points of information that, you know, gives your video a little bit of a structure. But right at the bottom, there is a massive disclaimer. Care collabs are not there to impose on your style, how you go about presenting things, formal, informal, structured, unstructured, off the cuff commentary. There is no structure to a care collab on how you deliver your information about the care. The only thing is this other little PDF that I put together is there to sort of guide a little bit with regards to the flow of the thought process in case someone were to be stuck. Then there's another little attachment that I send. Those are the seven guidelines. Those are the kind of the minimum what a care collab should include. And those seven guidelines are in bullet points just because it's easy, you know, descriptions of the channels participating in the link. Invite anybody and everybody to join in on a future care collab. If they make videos and post on any other social media platform, it doesn't necessarily have to be YouTube. And also put the care collab hashtag into the title just so that, you know, everybody knows that this is a care collab and mention other participating channels within the care collab. Now, if the list is exceptionally long that we've had, of course, naming them out can take forever. You may not want to do that. Then you can list them in writing on the screen, etc., etc. So this is how then the body of the care collabs came about when I send out these attachments. And if you did get these attachments, it all looks very like, <laughs> I don't want to say the word scary, but it looks like, oh my goodness, no, this is, you know, this is over my head. I don't want to be doing this. I just thought I could do a video together with everybody else about care. And guess what? That is what it is. It's just three attachments that I've added throughout this past year, just to make sure everybody is on the same page with the information that they get from me. So this video today is about a celebration, a massive thank you, and already looking ahead to 2022, a welcome to the Care Collab initiative if you see this for the first time and have not been in touch. Know that you can always email me if you're interested, what I will need from you is a list of your orchids, whether they are no ID, whether you know exactly the name of the orchid, whether you have species, hybrids, it doesn't matter across the board. I will then take that list that you send me and cross-reference it with the database I have currently running and email you the list back with highlighted orchids that are a direct match and categorize according to genus if there is enough interest and enough other channels that are already on the list and we can compile a general care video for a specific genus, for example. I will also reach out to channels that have in their own right organized care collab videos on their own initiative. And that would be Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents, who has taken control of certain species that I have memorized but never written down. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry, Fernanda and also honeybees and orchids who organized the Phalaenopsis complex hybrid general care care collab. So every time I get a list, if honeybees and orchids were to do an update, for example, I would send him all the channels I have compiled since that first care collab on Phalaenopsis hybrids and say, here you go. 
here are more channels for you to get in touch with so that they can participate as well. And I'm doing the same when I see something, for example, that Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents has, and I send her those orchids and the channel name, and then those channels respectively will get in touch with you but I will let you know that other channels are getting in touch with you because once again, I do not share emails. So if you're seeing this, and I might be repeating myself over and over again, that is because I'm just well excited that we've come to this point. I'm talking to 60 channels from two, 365 days ago. I think that is pretty impressive and the family is growing, let's put it this way. There's another thing I also want to put out straight away, if you're still here with me, is we call them flamingos, all right? So I send out flamingos. Those are my alert emails, creating awareness of a care collab being coordinated. I like to say that we're keeping it classy around here and I'm gonna send out the flamingos <laughs> instead of pigeons, just in case that wasn't clear enough. I can't tell you how many flamingos I have sent out I did not do that math and I refuse to go down there because that is a rabbit hole. I will find the answer in the end, but it is an enormous amount. It is a massive flock of flamingos. I think they would have migrated and emptied out Lake Navasha or Lake Nakuru straight away. <laughs> we have had so many emails fly back and forth. I have also been showing pictures of all the care collabs we have done. If two or three are missing, that is probably because I don't have the right image anymore, or it could also be the orchid was lost and then I deleted the folder. So there is that, yes, but a huge massive flock of flamingos has gone out and that flock returns back to me, etc, etc. It's been an amazing year. It's been wonderful to get to know you and it's great to have had this connection come through on this platform and to see the response of the Care Collabs also in the comments section, especially if anyone does a request on an orchid and then instead of me just honoring that request and saying, this is what I do with my orchid, I bring a whole gaggle of channels along and say, there you go your request <laughs> for this care video plus XYZ in the description below. Nicole Allen, I'm talking to you. Slipper Orchids General Care. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Just like, you know, oh my goodness, I bet nobody was expecting that. But the next one is coming up and I'm not going to mention your name, but I think you've been waiting almost a year for it. Just watch. Just watch, I will bring you information with a whole bunch of other channels in tow that will give you everything you need to know and then you can filter through and decide what works best for you. Either one specific combination or nuggets from several different videos. <laughs> I just love that this has worked out so well and you can tell by me just well, oh, I'm still talking. <laughs> I don't want to let you guys go, but I want to finish off by saying thank you so much to all Care Collab channels for joining in, for taking the time to do your videos, for doing all the little bit of, you know, housekeeping around the Care Collab, adhering to the seven guidelines, for watching other channels' videos as well. I think that is always a great thing that we then go to other participating channels and watch their videos and it, it, it just brings us a little bit closer together or am I just being soppy? I don't know, <laughs> you tell me. Anyway, right, it's still raining outside and if you're still here, let's have a little pan around. This is a very special kind of lockdown, the one that we embrace, but all the kiddos are inside. Uh, with the exception of those that can handle the temperatures outdoors. Many of my ridiculous lalias are outdoors. But these guys have been indoors now for the past seven days and seven nights. And yeah, I'm getting antsy. I need me a little bit. Now the rain can stop. Now it can stop. And we've got the top guns up there. Some are in bloom. And then we've got this shelf over here. And if I go a little bit lower without jiggling you too much. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Jungle eye view. 
And then we've got a few more down here. My mounts normally hang higher, but I didn't want to block the view. But yes, this is the kiddos indoors. I would say we are at 90% capacity space-wise. <laughs> All fun and games. Thank you very, very much. I would say happy birthday, Care Collabs. You're one year old. We are at 61 channels in 2021. I'm sure there are more channels out there. I invite you to leave me a comment below. Let me know you want to join in. You've heard what I need from you. If you have any other questions beyond that, let me know as well. And let's get you on board for 2022, especially with the flamingos I'm going to be sending out this week. <laughs> like I said, brace yourself. Oh, I love it. Thank you for making this happen. This video wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Have yourselves a very, very fabulous day. Please, on one condition though, that you stay safe and take care. Bye.